Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to do a little bit more um, uh, advanced programming. So, like uh, using the uh, drivers is really uh, something like very convenient, but sometimes you are having an instrument that does not have a drivers available, or you're actually finding the driver is actually slow in some sense. So, how we are going to do uh, in that ways? So, in this situation, we're going to uh, look at what is the uh, situation of the uh, uh, menus. For example, uh, in the menus, so this is a uh, the menus we're talking about. This is the first one is a, a 2600, and another is 2400. So over there, so although this is very long, you can actually see in each section they actually put, put a lot of the information uh, regarding the how to use the instrument here for example it actually says okay so this is a smu a measurement so if you're using the smu x and the measurement y so you're going to see how this measurement can be done so basically you put in this information this is like basically uh, smu so in this case we only have one uh, uh one channel so this is going to be smua and measure it of that some numbers and then we can program this. So over here, so uh, a simple way to test it is go to the NIMS, okay, uh, Measurement and Automation Explorer. And over there, so let's say you have your instrument. So you can click Communicate with your instrument and can query. So this is basically a model 2635B. Uh, uh, okay, over here, actually you can uh, put in some command. Let's say I want to do this. I want to uh, print some numbers. Okay, I want to print them. And this number is uh, SMUA dot and measure and uh, I uh, measure dot I. And uh, this is basically the command I'm going to use. All right. So over here, I could first uh, press write. Okay. And then I could press read. And this is a number actually received from the machine. So the write and basically means I send the information to the system, and then read is basically less than what they actually uh, telling me back. So the query uh, means I'm sending the command and less than what is coming back. Okay. So as you can see, this is much faster compared with the uh, drivers VIs. So how we can accomplish this in the lab use? So it's simple. It's just using the uh, measure uh, using the instrument I/O, and you can see there is one is it visa, and we have a visa write and visa read. So this is exactly the same as a read and write in the Max program. So this is the only thing actually we're going to use to communicate with the system. Okay, uh, by simply create. Okay, I'm going to create an indicator. So uh, I'm sorry, I'm creating a controller. Okay, I'm going to create a controller over here uh, so this is where the system is going to be coming in and I'm going to write some commanding so this is a, a, a constant so I'm going to start to write the command I just put it in it's called a print a number and SMUA a measurement uh, a measure I so again so the print number is the command in the service menu and um, SMU dot measure dot IV or I or V. So this is also in the menus. So you just get this command and sending this command into the system. So all the instrument would have this kind of uh, uh, programming instructions. So they are going to list what is the command is actually R. Okay, some is more intuitive, some is less intuitive. But anyway, so then you just going to read this one so in the read I'm going to have the uh, 256 bytes of the buffers read it out and then it's going to read all the uh, buffers and the, for the buffers I'm going to create a uh, indicator okay I'm going to create an indicator over here and uh, for here I'm going to uh, create a loop okay I'm going to create a for loop and uh, to let the system running so this is a uh, I'm sorry, not for a uh, while loop over here. So uh, that means if I start to uh, run the system, so the system doing nothing but just read. Okay, so there is no things is going to be done. As you can see, the read number is much, much faster 
compare with the uh, previous one, maybe like a, a one second uh, every uh, readings. And so this could be uh, like hundreds of readings per second. Okay. With this, so we want to go back with the uh, menus, and there is one page of the menus that actually writes the remote source measurement procedures, and there are some basic commands. There are more commands over there, but uh, this is a, a most useful one, so like how to turn on the range, uh, define the range, and to define what is a measurement. It's a source, uh, a current voltage, or current and voltage at the same time, or uh, all of the levels you want to put it in. And all of these later needs to be sent via Lisa right to the system to start the readings. Okay, so we understand how the program really works by sending in and sending it back of the information out of the systems. So now we can come here to actually design how to uh, uh, do some programs. So in this times, uh, we're going to uh, do a different programming. We're going to control uh, to SMU, but this time we're going actually going to scan the gate while reading the source string uh, current uh, with a constant bias. So this is usually called the uh, transfer curve. Okay, So in that way, uh, we're going to have a source string and setup, and uh, we're going to have a, a gain setup. Okay? Uh, so that would be fine. But in this case, I would do a little bit different in this way. Um, because so what I want to do is uh, creating a uh, emulators. So basically, like because in the uh, systems, if you look at the menus, so there are a uh, different kind of range. So in each different range, uh, we can select of them. So they're going to let's say are, are one nanoamps or, or or ten nanoamps or hundred nanoamps or one amps. Those kind of range. So that is really going to uh, limit the current. Okay. So in this way, what we're going to do, in, instead of just writing in the uh, current, so I want to do a little bit differently. So I want to do the uh, emulators. Okay, so basically I'm going to tell you what this really means. So if you go here, I would say this is called uh, source string range. Okay, so if you go, so for the emulator items, they actually have a different, basically have a drop down stuff which is actually the item I want to add, what is the numbers over there. So by adding the numbers, I want to correlate these numbers to the range of the SMU. So this is on the menus. So the, on the menu of the 2635B, uh, you can see uh, there is a voltage range, there is a current range as well. So voltage range is uh, as small as the 200 millivolts, as big as 200 volts. So this is correlated with what you actually select from the, uh, from the front panels of the instrument. And the current is over here from uh, 100 picoamps all the way to 1.5 amps. So we don't need to add all of them. So I just want to add a few. For example, the first one is uh, 100 picoamps. And the second one, I want to add it uh, like somewhere like maybe uh, 1 nanoamps. And the third one, I want to say like 100 nanoamps. And the fourth one is, uh, uh, let's say, 10 uh, milliamps and uh, uh, 1 amps, something like that, or 1.5 uh, amps, right, so 1.5 amps. These numbers would be corresponding to this uh, manuals numbers, so uh, from the very low to very high. Uh, okay, I think I forgot to add the microamp range, so I'm going to insert another. So let's say uh, uh, 10 microamps, okay, and maybe like, uh, do I want to add another one? So I could drop down, so rearrange this a little bit, so I could get all the uh, needed uh, range, like uh, in my menus. Okay, so let's say 100. Okay, I'm going to change it a little bit. All right, so this is up to you to how to select this. So now you can actually see this is all the numbers that could drop down uh, over the menus. Okay, so similarly, I want to create a very similar thing, a copy-paste uh, for the gate. Uh, obviously, the gate is different because the gate is 2400, so they have a different range. So if you're using the same menus, it's not going to be appropriate. So for the 2400, uh, you can see this is a range for the current. Okay, uh, the smallest is one microamps, the biggest one is one amps. So it's definitely different uh, as compared with the uh, 2635. The 2635 is more sensitive. But anyway, so we can start to edit uh, it in the properties and in the items. Okay, here the smallest is one uh, a micro.
microamps. Okay, one microamps is a 10 microamps. So I could uh, just uh, plug in all the numbers. Okay, 100 microamps. Uh, one uh, milliamps. And uh, uh, 10 milliamps. And one amp, uh, 100 milliamps. And one amp. Okay, so in total, uh, there are uh, these numbers. Okay, uh, of course, uh, these numbers is um, it's just I nominally write in this program. It doesn't really uh, give these numbers at all. It's just basically a name. So in order to have this, so you can see over here, so I can just change it to the uh, icons. So from here, uh, you actually can see on the back uh, this information. When I actually select, okay, let's say 100 picoamps, the really value this uh, thing is going to return is zero. So it's not really the 100 picoamps. So I want to convert that into real numbers. So in order to do that, I using a case over here. So I add a case, okay. So I wire it there, and uh, they're going to uh, create uh, two cases for me. So let's say so right now is one uh, nanoamps is on it, okay. I want to uh, add a little bit. I want to change it to make sure because I have uh, more than uh, two uh, cases, right? So there's only have two cases. I could uh, uh, right click and says, okay, I want, I want to uh, add cases for all values. Okay, now all the uh, values is there, and for each values, uh, so basically when I select the different cases, so what value is actually going to output? Okay. So uh, that will be, okay, so for uh, one nanoamps, so this uh, means it has to be, have some kind of numbers, right? So let's say 100 picoamps, uh, I want to put in uh, uh, some kind of uh, constant uh, numbers, okay? A constant number that is uh, 10 to the minus uh, uh, 11, okay? So this is the 100 picoamps. I'm sorry, yeah, 10, okay, for the picoamps. And then I'm going to uh, create this for all the cases. Okay, so I'm going to create this for all cases. Also, I'm going to create it for the gate range as well. So gate is uh, everything, I'm doing the same things to create it. So now everything was created, and now we can uh, add more controls. In this case, it's the uh, source string voltage and so like what is a bias so like a source string voltage in volts uh okay yeah, let's just like rearrange it a little bit and i'm going to create the uh, uh so let's just rearrange it a little bit better and uh, also, I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to copy that and uh, make sure this is a, a source string delay. So delay is how many uh, a second, okay, uh, for every measurement. Okay, sometimes I want to pre, uh, put it over there. So this is my control for the source string uh, uh, voltage, okay, our source string setup. And then also, uh, I want to create pretty much the same things for the gate, okay. So the gate, uh, I just copy uh, here. Sorry, just copy here. Okay, so the source string, uh, uh, the gate uh, starting voltage. Okay, the voltage is also in volts because I'm going to scan the uh, the gate, right? So I'm going to scan the gate and start at certain gate uh, voltage, and also I'm going to create the uh, uh, similar things for the. Uh, uh, Gate and uh, what is the end voltage for that? Okay, it's also uh, end end dot uh, gate. Okay. Now uh, this is created, and I'm going to uh, having the. Uh, one more thing, so number of points uh, for the scan, right? So the, how many points uh, for the uh, gate scan is going to be. So this is it, okay. And also, uh, finally, I want to rearrange that a little bit, okay? Uh, make sure they are aligned properly and I want to create indicators, okay? I want to create a uh, number indicators for the uh, a measured uh, voltage, a measured current, 
uh, to show it uh, right on the uh, on site so it's easier to see. Okay, good. Uh, just to rearrange it a little bit and make sure they are uh, aligned better. Okay, so after that, I just basically want to rearrange this to like make, make it a little bit nicer so they are all aligned. And then I want to create an XY graph, okay, to show my data. So uh, this XY plot on the, uh, I just uh, resize it a little bit. And then the X uh, is the uh, voltage and Y is the source string current. On the back, I'm going to see, okay, so this is all my stuff on it. And I have uh, all the uh, uh, number point, a uh, control point over there. I want to make it smaller. And uh, I want to see the points. So the points is really uh, should be uh, integer numbers. Okay, so make it into an integers. And other things uh, is fine. So I want to uh, rearrange this uh, a little bit. So we need some space for me uh, to the next level of programming. Okay, so this is the XY graph, and I just don't need the plotting, I just need the, the plot itself. I'm going to construct the XY by myself. Okay, uh, so uh, then, uh, so similar as last time, so we want to have a case, okay, uh, not a case, we want to have a, a flat structures, okay, so the flat structures, and then instead of using the uh, Drivers. This time we're going to use the uh, visa. So this is a visa opening. So first thing I want to open the visa, and the opening visas. The first one is for the 2400, and uh, so I want to create a uh, a control. So this is uh, uh, where the uh, 2400 uh, visa is going to be uh, used. Okay. So where the source of 2400 is, is there is coming from the address is coming from and I copy that and getting the 26 uh, uh, 2635 okay in as well okay so as you can see then we want to uh, again uh, using the visa right so I want to ping over here so visa right to write the command into the system by basically sending some command to it so in order to send a command the, the, the real thing needed is a string. So some kind of string, the, the letters needs to be sent to them. So how I actually could get the uh, command is from the menus. So here I'm going to create a constant, okay? And then I'm going to copy the uh, command lines need to be sent to here. So for 2400, so this is 2400, so the uh, command is uh, simpler actually. So the older system is also always simpler. Uh, so for example, it's a basic source measurement programming example set here. Uh, so the first one is reset. Okay, I'm going to uh, basically say it's okay, reset. And uh, using uh, separations, okay. And then uh, I could uh, continue, okay. So the source function, uh, function is voltage. Uh, also write it here, okay, uh, add a separation, and, and then I'm going to say, okay, source uh, uh, voltage, and uh, the model is fixed, so I'm not going to scan, so each time it's only uh, output one single point, and the range, we're going to do, deal with that later, and level, we're going to deal with that, that later, and uh, the uh, measurement side is uh, uh, since uh, function current, so basically I want to uh, measure the current uh, first, okay, and, and I can uh, keep adding this core, uh, this command, uh, make it bigger so you can see uh, more clearly. Uh, okay, so the next one is a sense function current, so I want to uh, sense the current, uh, basically the, the reading the current out of this SMU, and the finally uh, the next one is the uh, range, okay. So the voltage range, in this case, because usually the voltage for the gate is very high, so uh, 20 volts is not enough, like I'm using the highest one is 200 volts. And then uh, it's going to be the uh, sense current range, okay? Um, the sense current range in this example, they're actually using 10 to the minus uh, 3, or 10 to the minus 2, but we're actually going to choose uh, between our range, right? So. Um, but before that, this is a, like a, I'm going to read, okay, single point. So this is a thing I'm reading the, the 
the single point out of the measurement. And uh, finally, I'm going to have the current reading only. And uh, for what else? Okay, I want to change is uh, uh, okay. I want to make sure this is smaller. Okay, so that'll be fine. Okay. Um, so the finally, I want to change the uh, values to be the, uh, uh, the, the 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 gate range. Okay, so the gate range needs to be selected. Okay, I put it in down here. So how I can write the gate range is uh, by using a command line. Um, this one, rearrange it a little bit. Okay. Um, so it goes here, you can see this uh, source, uh, not source voltage level, so this is uh, for the voltage levels. Uh, instead, we're going to, going to use the uh, voltage range. No, no, not this one. So we're going to use the, uh, oh yes, this one. Sense current range of uh, some numbers. So the only thing needs to be changed is, is that number, right? So I'm going to put that number. So I'm going to create a new uh, string, okay, create, create, create a new string constant and put it down here. So the range is equals to uh, with a uh, space and some numbers. And this number is actually a string. So firstly, I want to uh, convert my numbers, because that tends to minus six in that in, in current case, into a string. Okay, uh, yes, so so this is a, oh, I'm sorry, this is a wrong, wrong one. So this is converting numbers to the uh, uh, string. So I want to convert the uh, numbers, uh, numbers to string. So here I'm going to select uh, convert numbers to fraction to exponential string. So this is good, okay, not this one. Okay, I want to convert this number into a string. Okay, move it a, a little bit, and uh, so now this one is I have a string. I want to combine two strings together. Basically, I have a first string, and I want to combine it with another string. So this is called a, a concatenated string. So this two string can be uh, converted into one. Okay, so I have a sense uh, current range. And uh, the range is equals to this guy. Okay, so add these things together. Okay, add the first part of the command. Uh, I could uh, also uh, just append this as well. So everything is going to be uh, combined into a single string. Okay, basically my command lines. Okay, so this is fine. So I have uh, make sure I have all the space needed. Okay, so this is command lines uh, needed. Okay, I'm going to convert it a little over here. So this is the command lines that needs to be sent into the uh, uh, visa write function. Okay, I move it a little bit here, and I could uh, uh, have the string connected. Okay, good. So this is uh, enough for the 2400. I'm going to do the same things for 2635. Uh, Okay, uh, move it a little bit on the side so we can have some space for it. Okay, so for 2635 uh, on the menus, we have a command reference. You can see this is all the command is, in, uh, uh, is listed over here. So uh, we need to go over them. So like not most of them is not uh, really needed, uh, but like they, they all have their functions. So the other things is really uh, necessary or absolutely necessary is a measurement. For example, the SMUX uh, measure, oh, this is a buffer. Okay, this is a SMU calibration. This is an SMU measure. And this is a measure delay and something. Because the uh, system is really um, in, the, uh, in, in, in the working uh, style, like if you using a command to change something, it's going to change. If you don't, they're, they're basically going to stay with whatever the settings it was. Okay, for example, over here, so we have examples. So SMU uh, X measuring Y and uh, this one. Okay, we have this uh, uh, measurement and this is the things we want to input into the command lines. 
<clears throat> okay, so down here, so again, we were going to create the uh, uh, visa write functions. So we're going to create a visa write, and we want to, oops, not this one. So we want to create a uh, uh, SMU measure auto range off because we don't want to have the range. So this is a command actually I copy from the menus. Okay. On the menus, so there are uh, many examples that's already listed. So basically, uh, that will be uh, easy. So we basically just copy whatever the uh, uh, command they listed okay, over there. So this is the, uh, the uh, output voltage. And then we're going to say, OK, what is the levels? OK, what is the uh, uh, limits or range of that uh, systems? OK, or a range of that systems. So in this case, the range is going to be what we actually uh, selected. But this can be done later. OK, and this is voltage. And then uh, we're going to have the SMU sense local. So that means they're actually using two terminal measurement. Okay, instead of three, okay, and we have the display uh, measurement function is zero. So that is basically means that they actually display uh, current. Okay, so all of these is actually listed in the menus, and uh, we can just start uh, putting that over there. So the first one it means the auto range is off. Okay, the output is voltage, and we have a sense is two terminal, and on the front panel of the system they're actually going to show the current. Okay, and then. And these things uh, uh, needs to be uh, copied uh, and send it into the S uh, in, into the visa right, and we want to uh, also uh, select the range of the systems. Okay, in order to do that, it's very similar to what I have done uh, previously. Okay, so this way, uh, the command is SMU uh, A and measure sense uh, range. Okay, so. That one so SMU measure range I is equals to something okay so that one again is the numbers uh, we're going to be uh, appended on so the number is uh, okay basically calculated Oops, sorry. Uh, it's actually it's actually calculated over here so I'm going to append okay convert that one into uh, convert the, uh, the number into string and combine two uh, strain into one. Okay, so this is a strain one, and I'm going to append that strain up here. Okay, so this doesn't need uh, more input. All right, so this is a command lines for the prepare of the uh, 2635. And uh, I'm going to move it a little bit down here. And now I'm also going to use the visa right copy here. Okay, visa right and then uh, linked uh, here. And, and then uh, linked the arrow out uh, again. So this uh, should be able to uh, prepare both uh, instrument readies for the uh, programs. Okay, and then I'm going to connect this one uh, to the side. Okay, to the next frame. Add a frame uh, after. Okay. We want to add a frame after. And then uh, the next one would be prepare the loop uh, for the four loops. Okay, so we want to, uh, for every uh, point of the uh, gate scan, we want to create it. This is the same as what we done last time. So the data points, I mean data points, what is the intervals? Okay, I'm creating this for loops already. Okay, and uh, getting the visa right in here. Okay, so this is the visa right. And uh, for here, the first one, I want to uh, uh, get the uh, uh, voltage ready and uh, turn on the, uh, uh, the uh, turn the system on. So turn on the output. Okay, so this is for 2400 uh, on, and then it's going to be connected into the for loop. Oops. Okay, into the for loop. And for the uh, inside the for loops, 
again. So we're going to create this uh, flat case again because we want to have some kind of delays. So it wants to uh, uh, command it a frame after another. So it wants to connect it all the uh, how many points and what is the starting point in here. And again, so this is going to be visa right. And here, this is going to be what is the current uh, voltage okay, we want to uh, apply uh, to our sample. Right? So uh, this one, the command, uh, again, needs to be uh, converted into string. Okay, so this is uh, numbers, okay, uh, and I want to convert it into string. And the uh, command I'm going to use is a source function. So I'm going to look at what the system is. Okay, this says, uh, okay, source voltage level. So this is a source voltage level. Okay, create a uh, string constant and the source voltage levels. Okay, with the space bars and uh, space bar here, and uh, wants to append this one with the. Uh, with my uh, numbers uh, I selected. Okay, uh, just move it a little bit uh, here and connect it here. And uh, it's connected. Okay, so this is the command lines that needed to send the uh, bias, the uh, gate. Okay, done. So the next one I'm going to connect it outside. Okay, this will be fine. Uh, the uh, next one is uh, turn on the bias for the uh, source and drain. Okay, and uh, to put in the delay here. So this delay is uh, timings for millisecond. Okay, I want to create this one as well. So the multiplied by a number. Constant is a thousand, so it becomes the uh, millisecond. Next, we want to uh, bias the source strain voltage. So again, it's a uh, uh, visa right. Okay, we uh, linked everything here, and we can look at from the uh, uh, examples. So this is a levels, and uh, it's uh, creating a uh, strain. It's the uh, SMU source level is equals to some numbers. And this number is the number we actually put it in, and it needs to be converted into a uh, string. Okay, so this is a fine. Okay, we uh, finally turn this output on. Okay, uh, we just uh, okay just copy uh, the oops, copy this uh, command over here and append uh, this guy into the command lines. Okay. And uh, then this means the SMU is turned on. Okay. Next, we want to save the uh, voltage and current data. So in order to do that, we want to go to the programming array, initiate array. So not not build array, initiate array. And this element is starting with zero. Okay, constant is zero. So this is where it, basically I create a blank. Uh, uh, array basically a blank uh, things so later on my data can be appended to the system okay I just uh, add this thing in and uh, going to be added uh, into the lines as you can see it's as in passing through uh, the for loops it becomes an index this kind of a square so I want to replace with the uh, shift register so basically uh, once they actually uh, going uh, around the loops they actually uh, change over the loops is that we change it. Okay, this the same thing goes to the uh, bias of the gate. Okay, the bias of the gate. Uh, let me move it a little bit. Okay, uh, so the bias, uh, next bias is going to be add to the intervals. Okay, so let's keep going. Uh, I link all the lines together. Okay, so I add another frames to the end. So delete everything. So now it's the SMU read and SMU write again. So this time we're going to measure what is the values of the readings from the SMU uh, 2635. 
Okay, uh, the command is what we just created last time. It's uh, a print uh, number. Okay, we just uh, write down the print, print number. Uh, 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 bracket SMUA dot measure uh, dot I. Okay, so again, this is actually copy from the examples. Okay, so this is fine, and uh, for the uh, uh, bytes, uh, 256, uh, uh, 256 bytes, and uh, then the system will return us the uh, readings of the buffer, okay, reading of the uh, instrument. Convert that readings uh, into a number, okay, uh, so this is the wrong one, so the string, this goes here. So basically, find all the readings. Okay, array uh, needs to be appended. So we want to have an appended array. So this is where the array is, and the initial array, and we going out, and then this is where the voltage was created. So basically, adding one element every time it actually going through the loop. Okay, I made a mistake over here, so it should be uh, after the loop. Okay, uh, after the the addings. So I need to. Uh, make sure the they are looking properly. So this is uh, uh, the the current values or uh, uh, current voltage values in here. Okay, so uh, in this uh, uh, loop, the array is going to store all the uh, numbers of the current uh, over here. So pre uh, upper one is a voltage, and this one is a current. Okay, so I have a voltage and current. So the next one. I want to show this. Okay, I want to uh, show this graph over there. So again, so this one is going out, and this can be tunneled to the last values. Otherwise, it's not going to do anything. All right. So this is uh, uh, almost fine. I want to uh, after the for loop, I could close uh, the uh, uh, the system. Okay, I want to turn off the output. Okay. Uh, so similarly, it's here. Okay, I have the uh, SMU right, and uh, uh, since it's coming out, and tunneling all these last values, and uh, here is also as well. So instead of on, this is off. I want to put it down here. All right. So um, finally, is this uh, X Y plot? So this x y plot uh, is basically have x and y already. So I want to create a cluster. Okay, I want to create a cluster uh, by bundle uh, two uh, x and y together. So, so one is this one is x, and this one is y. Okay, and then I fit this into the x y plot. So by doing so, the x y plot will show uh, what is there. Okay. And uh, then I want to add a frame after. So this is where the saved frame is going to be. Okay, I want to save the data. So by doing save the data, I want to create an array, basically by uh, build uh, the two x, y together, basically append this two x, y together. It becomes a 2D array. Okay, with this 2D array, uh, I can uh, start to read uh, I can save this uh, one to a files. So in here, uh, where it is? Okay, so it's a programs, uh, file IOs, and uh, uh, files. Okay, so again, so I'm asking user to choose files, override uh, oh, uh, no haters, okay, no haters, and uh, okay. And this is the signals, uh, array just fit into the signals. They actually could convert it directly. Uh, automatically. Okay, I want to uh, save that as icons. Okay, so this would be the all the programs uh, actually needed for the uh, scanning the uh, gates and getting the the transfer curves. Okay, yeah, hope this is useful. Thank you.